Howdy folks, I'm Tom Shields looking at the Asuyu's Coyotes and the KIJHL. And one thing became evident this weekend, local hockey fans are going to be in for a treat. The Okanagan Vision, it's now one in which any team can beat any other team on any given night. Weekend scores underline that in spades. Coyotes took out Summerland 5-1 to one Friday night, scoring five power play goals. Summerland had three players out with suspensions and another four were injured. And then they lost forward Jarrett Malchow, who slugged it out with Austin Cleaver. After Malchow laid out Coyote Evan Polera with a check to the back, sending Polera into the boards, Austin Cleaver immediately let his fist do the talking in defense of his mate. Then, to make matters worse, one of the steam coaches was tossed with 10 minutes to go in the game when a steam player was tripped and there was no penalty call. At that point, the steam had picked up 12 penalties to the Coyotes' four. So there was frustration in the air. However, there's a bit of a flip side to that as well. The KIJHL record showed that Asuyus is usually the least penalized team in the league. That has been the case since the Coyotes have improved their defensive game over the past three years. But back to that Summerland frustration, it continued the next night. They lost 3-2 to two in North Okanagan. And again, the steam were with a short bench. Suspension still in effect and the team with the hurts. Saturday night, though, it became a frustrating night for the Zuyu's Coyotes against last place Princeton, about 130 by kilometers west of us here. They lost 5-3 to three, but outshot the Posse 50-21. to 21. Liam Aitken got the start and the Posse scored at 8 9 in the first period. Liam had established a record in the KIJHL of three consecutive shutouts. Not to mention, they were also the first three games of his career. So the shutout streak in the KIJHL record book will be Liam Aitken, 188 minutes and nine seconds. Liam only lasted the first period, though, as the posse scored three times and six shots for a 3 nothing lead. Oddly enough, Tristan Olsen had two and Drew Carter the other, and both were with the Coyotes last season. Adam Jones finished the game in goal, and Carter Robinson, Caleb Commission, and Austin Cleaver scored, while Judd Rapoli did what Judd does, set up two of those goals. However, guys who normally have the notches on their sticks, the terrorist terror threesome of Ryan Roseboom, Colin Bell, and Carter Shannon, all have zeros in both the goals and assist column. That in itself is a rarity to see zeros in those columns. However, losing in Princeton also seems to happen at least once each year where the Coyotes dominate the play but they can't put the puck in the ocean while standing on the shore. The only team playing out of the division was the Kelowna Chiefs who beat Revelstoke 4 to nothing and Sycamore 7 to 3 to pick up a couple of home ice wins. A couple of changes to the Coyote lineup. Evan Laura is now joining his goaltender brother Tyler and Grand Forks. Tyler was the player of the game in the Forks 3-2 loss in Fernie. He stopped 38 of 41 shots. So, here's how the standings now look in the Okanagan Division. Summerland has played 15 games and are on top with 20 points. Kelowna has played 13 games. They are in second place with 19 points. Asuyus has played 12 games or are in third place with 18 points. North Okanagan played 13 games. They have 13 points and Princeton played 15 games and they have nine points. And what do we have this weekend? Home and home games with the Kelowna Chiefs. It's a battle for first place while Summerland plays just one game hosting North Okanagan. Saturday night, the game is up in Kelowna. Then the battle comes to Asuyus on Sunday night at 735. And it will be the sea of yellow on display as the first 300 fans will each get a yellow buy low bag courtesy of the Asuyu's buy low. It'll be full of goodies, a fan favorite in itself. Then it's the Asuyu's buy low foods pumpkin bowling at the first intermission. Then at the second intermission, it's the Asuyu's buy low foods Halloween costume judging on the ice. And then once we have the fresh ice, 
It's the Janice and Craig Tucker of McDonald's Realty Chuckadock toss for the jackpot now sitting at a nifty four hundred and fifty dollars. Hey, here come the ducks. Here come the ducks. It's going to be a hell of a night and Kelowna in town. And these two teams are not going to be out there bobbing for apples, folks, so don't miss this one. I'm Tom Shields of the Coyotes, the KIJHL, all in Cairo.